Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor. I had a question about our metal cutting um, chop saw, our closet rod cutting station, uh, what we use and, and why we use it. So uh, this video will show you uh, our, our setup that we've got now, what we're cutting and what we were doing before and why we do what we do now. Here we go. So these are the materials that we cut at our rod cutting station. We cut a lot of steel oval chrome closet rod, a lot of steel hanging rail. We also cut our hanging rail cover with that at the same time and then we cut a lot of aluminum now you can't cut aluminum with an abrasive wheel uh, you need a you know a, a tooth uh, cutting wheel so let me show you what we used to do uh, on a couple of things and then I'll show you our setup now so originally when we were cutting steel we just used the abrasive cutting wheel it actually works really good it's it's fairly fast it would leave you a little bit of a burr we would actually just run the closet rod right around the edge there to take the burr off and we would be all done. Uh, we've since gone to a different type saw. Additionally, we had uh, this type of setup in the past for cutting it uh, for, a, for a stop. And, uh, you know, slides back and forth. It's got a tape measure that's embedded there. One of the issues that we had is that people, you'd have to cut something that would be 71 and a quarter and they would go 71 and then when they would go over to a quarter, and any of you that have ever read a tape and know what I'm talking about, realize that that is not 71 and a quarter, it's actually 70 and three quarters, and so you end up with something that's uh, that's off by a half an inch and uh, when you get to the job site. So let me show you our current setup now and how we've addressed both the saw blade and the fence. So for the saw blade, the first thing that we did is we went to a carbide tipped uh, saw blade that is a it's designed for cutting metal and so there's a there's a couple of different ones I've got a link in uh, the description here to the one that we use on Amazon uh, that you can you can buy a um, couple of things with this you do have to be really careful with them and make sure that you keep them sharp uh, we change them at the first of every month we put a new one on just to make sure that it's always fresh and that way there's no issue with that. You can sharpen it a couple of times to get it out, uh, good use out of it. The couple of things is you have to have your parts securely fastened in here. If the if when you're cutting it vibrates back and forth, we found that it will knock the it will break the carbide tooth off of the edge. It won't allow it to cut. It's got to have a nice smooth steady cut if it's not then it breaks that it either breaks or knocks the carbide tooth off and if you your, your sharpening guy can re-tip that but if you do a couple of them it gets, it gets pretty expensive so everything has to be clamped nice and tight um, and it works it works really good it cuts nice and And actually, we, when we cut our, our rail cover, we'll put both of them in and cut them at the same time. And that way you've got, uh, for the measuring, we've gone to, we've got this guy here. It's a saw gear by Tiger Stop. It's kind of their basic entry level automated stop. And so turn it on here. So is it our example over there that we were cutting 70 and a quarter? Our cut list will come out and it'll just have numbers on it. And they just enter in the number that's on the cut list, 70.25, and hit start. And now we've got uh, our size to cut. There's no, you know, there's no calculating. They don't have to do anything. They're just entering it in as they see it on the cut list. So this works really good. We got a couple of different ways to set it up. We bought it and it was just the 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 stop and so we had to we made this table they also sell one with the table and uh, that works out really really good and then sometimes stuff will get knocked out and you need to recalibrate it and it, the recalibration is you, you you cut a piece measure it push this button and then you just enter in the size of that piece and it calibrates uh, to, to work really well so we don't have uh, we don't have any issues with it. Works really, really good. We've been very, very happy with it. The saw that we're using this is a De Dewalt. We've had a over the years we've gone through a couple of other ones 
And most of the time the issue has not been with the saw itself, but the fence, not the fence, the guard. We end up having problems with the guards. So we just replaced this one. So we have one set up with the, the standard one. And we also have one with the abrasive one. And with a new table that we built, we can switch that out and put it back in action with a, and cut for cutting heavier steel and things like that.